next. I went to Boots and the first thing I picked up was I love the Batiste um, dry shampoo. I was never ever going to try it. I always thought it's for festival goers, for people who don't have showers. <laughs> That sounds really horrible. And then I saw Lily Melrose um, do a review on her of it, on her um, makeup channel. And I thought, you know what, this sounds really good. I have a fringe, it gets greasy when the rest of my hair is fine. Or yeah, and or your head, forehead gets oily. So you'd be like, like washing your fringe every morning yeah. and tying oh I yeah. hated that. No. And I can't pin my fringe back because my forehead is ginormous. <laughs> so it just looks like I'm bald. So <laughs> I like the Batiste, the um, plain cotton one, but I saw they had new products on. So this is the dry shampoo with a hint of red. So, yeah, it's pretty what? scary. It comes out red. No So way. I tried this this morning. It's one of the only products that I have got in my haul that I have actually tried. And I thought, I'll try it, and then if it doesn't work, I'll go straight into the shower. Now my hair is like a very strawberry ginger color at the minute i have i'm getting it colored at the weekend so i think it will work better then but i sprayed it on and i first thought it looks like i had a sunburnt head oh no but it's not too bad now i sort of brushed it oh, in yeah. you can see it a can little bit a little bit but i think it's definitely for only like a really fake Re red like head Brianna yeah red. the other one i got with batiste was a smoothing conditioning mist that you put on when your hair is either just clean or you just want it lightened up and it's just meant to be like an extra conditioner but a mist oh my goodness which sounds awesome but i haven't tried it yet so i don't know the next thing i got which i have tried is the cocoa butter natural bronze body lotion gradual tanner um, I'd seen loads of reviews about it um, and it being really good and because of the pump you know you don't get it all over your hands and everything and it only takes like one or two coats and it smells great and I've tried it I'm not the best at ones that don't come out brown and as I've shown Maria I have a couple of streaks but I think I maybe need to give it another go and rub it in a bit better. It is a nice colour. Um, yeah, it is a great conditioner and it smells really good so I'll maybe give it another coat and try and rub it in a bit better. I think you need to rub it in well so I'll try that and see. The next thing I picked up when I was in Boots was Too Faced Snow Bunny and I've used this for a couple of years now and I love it. It's just like a real shimmery bronzer sort of isn't oh it really goodness. nice you really want highlighter to stick your finger in yeah it it's like three four colors but so i couldn't great. get it for ages and i thought boots were like discontinuing the Too Faced brand because it just seemed to go from all the shelves mm -hmm. and then but i followed Too Faced on twitter and on instagram and they seem to be doing better and better so it turns out they've repackaged all their stuff it used to be in like a cardboardy sort of container and now it's in this like gold plasticky oh, container yeah. which is really like nice benefit the hula yeah company. yeah Cardboard not like that like anymore so um but i'm pretty sure it used to be about 25 26 pounds and now it's like 31.50 so I don't know whether that's just because of the container, but to me it's not worth yeah. an extra five. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe it wasn't that price, but I love it and it still didn't put me off purchasing it. I use it like as a highlighter on my nose and across my cheek. Next thing I picked up were some nail polishes. Um, I love the L'Oreal nail polishes. I really like the packaging. The brush is really good. Um, it just coats your whole nail. So I went and got the 001 uh snow white color um i've seen loads of bloggers and youtubers use white on their nails and it always looks so good but is it because they're tanned and lovely and sun-kissed because they live in california probably mm. will i put this on and will it look like tipex on my nails probably oh, god i'll try this and see and review back to you the other nail polish i got which i have on at the minute although it's slightly chipping is this revlon pink like uh, sort of sheer pink with big bits of glitter and little tiny bits of glitter in it. This is called Girly and yeah That's it looks nice really nail. nice on your nails except for I feel like the pink shouldn't be as sheer because you can see like the white bit of your nail oh, through yeah. and then the more you put on the more glitter you get on and then it doesn't look as nice with more mm -hmm. glitter so you definitely need like a base colour with this but it's nice I, but I don't like the packaging of Revlon either. <laughs> Revlon change your nail polish packaging. <laughs> Not for me. Uh, then I went to Barry M and picked up just their white 
Um, I pencil. Maria had been going on about she uses it in the corner of her eye and under her eye. Mm. And her eyes always look so pretty. Aww. I thought I'd just copy her <laughs> and try it out as well. Thank you. <laughs> and then I picked up on pencils, I picked up this eyeshadow pencil by Collection. I picked up this in Vintage Blush. It's a really good chubby wick. No, that's not right. Lead chubby lead on it mm. so you can sort of get all over your entire eye. I haven't tried it yet but the colour looks really good and I think it might be either a good like maybe like a base all over base. Still on collection I picked up this lipstick which is Mango Tango um, number 14 which is a really nice, it's kind of sheer, really moisturising and just a really nice colour. Next, I picked up just some of the little classic goody clear hair bands. I use these loads just for whenever I put my hair in like a side plait. Um, I just use them on the ends because they hold my hair really well because my hair is really thick. So one of these wouldn't do my whole hair but if I'm putting it into a plait or pigtails or something like that then they work really well. The next things I picked up were um, the Eco Tools brushes. I haven't tried these before. I've been using Models Own brushes mm -hmm. and I just thought I was again sucker for packaging. These just came in a little set. Look how pretty. All different colours. And they give you numbers and tell you exactly what you have to do inside. So I if you that. don't know then. So you've got a flat concealer brush, a buffing concealer brush, precision foundation brush, complex complexion blending brush and a full powder brush. But I'll probably mix and match them and use ones not yeah. for that. that it are... doesn't matter, you don't have to stick to it. No, so like... there's no rules. No. There's no law. Make your own rules. Exactly. Lastly, I picked up Stella palette. Ooh, ah. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that was really bizarre. I use Kitten, which is like a shimmery sort of sand um, colour all over my eye and it's like £11 and it lasts a really long time so when I found out it was going to be in this palette I thought why buy a new one when I can get all these other colours as well. It's called In The Light Eyeshadow Palette so I'll try and test it and give you a review on it and we'll do oh, colour yeah, swatches and stuff so yeah. I'll try it and see what I think but I only bought it yesterday so it hasn't been out of its packaging yet. Oh, and it comes with a smudge stick waterproof eyeliner <gasps> Ooh. in Damsel. As well as the pretty packaging, I think it's really Yeah, pretty. it is really nice. Isn't it? I love the, like, is that cardboard? But, yeah. Like, it's really chic, isn't it's it? It's really nice. Yeah. Really nice so, thing. that was my little shop of, like, £70 a little shop. So, that's our little haul post. We hope you liked it. Yay. And if you've tried anything that we've bought, let us know how it worked for you. And um like us and subscribe please. please. Wherever the buttons are. This way, that way. To the front, to the side and yeah. So we're new, we don't know what we're doing, but we're trying and we're having fun and yeah. uh we'll keep doing it if you want to see more. And we hope that it hasn't got too dark because the sun has set and we probably yeah. started off really bright and now you're like in shadow but yeah. so we'll work on the that. lighting. Yeah, we'll try harder next time. Okay, so bye! See you, bye. See you next time! And I thought they had removed the... Sorry, what? <laughs> 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 so I felt like, what are you doing another story? <laughs> Sorry! Wilbur! We can't deal with you looking at us! <laughs> Please stop! <gasps> Wilbur! Oh, there you are! No! Leave I live with five dogs, so we're used to it. As long as there's not like saliva on the top of oh, it, I'll God. just drink it. Oh my <laughs> god, that would be horrendous. <laughs>